This content is being produced by the podcast Bourbon Real Talk. The usual show format is to do a live review of a whiskey with a guest who tells their personal story. The purpose is to expose the world to the lives of people they may not have otherwise come in contact with. The goal is to reduce division and form new connections. Occasionally, we produce content that is meant to be educational like this program. For more information about Bourbon Real Talk, you can go to our website at bourbonrealtalk.com where you can sign up for our email list or we can be found on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Play, and iTunes by searching Bourbon Real Talk. Enjoy. Hello, everybody out there in Bourbon Real Talk land. Coming to you today with a special request episode of Drink This, Not That. So I had this idea that there's probably a lot of newer, you know, whiskey drinkers out there that have their standard pour that they're used to having. And they're getting a little whiskey curious. They're wanting to explore, but they don't exactly know where to start. So I thought I'd give you my uh, humble recommendations. And somebody recommended that I do a drink this, not that, of this bad boy, Crown Royal. Uh, extremely popular beverage. It is a Canadian blended whiskey, um, which means some things. So um, Crown Royal is owned by a company that used to own Four Roses. And it's a blended whiskey. So they are getting all different types of whiskey. Some of the whiskeys that they used to use to blend were made at the Four Roses plant. And so this is a whiskey that is blended to profile though. So there's not going to be a whole lot of variation from bottle to bottle. And that might be why some people like it. It's a, it's a standard pour. You know exactly what you're going to get. Now, from a tasting profile perspective, it's not a very complex whiskey. It, it is a, what I consider kind of a sweeter grain forward whiskey. So of course it's going to have that vanilla component, uh, but it's also kind of got like a cereal type uh, flavor, like a sweeter cereal type flavor. It doesn't taste bad. Um, but a lot of whiskey nerds poo-poo this for a few reasons. Um, one, because it is a blended whiskey. And I don't want to go into too much detail about the difference between a blended whiskey and a bourbon. But the basic details are they are allowed to start, and I believe they only have to have 20% whiskey. I think that that's the rule. You guys out there can correct me if that's not the case. And the rest can be GNS, Grain Neutral Spirit, which is basically how vodka gets started. It's, it's Everclear, basically. Um, and then they water it down, and they can actually add flavorings and colorings to any whiskey that has the word blended on the label like this one does, right? So right down here, it says blended Canadian whiskey. And blending was very popular for rectifiers and people like that post-prohibition because there wasn't a lot of aged spirits around for them to satisfy the public's need. And so the public did get used to drinking blended whiskey, and blended whiskey can be good. Um, but the other problem with blended whiskey, and pay attention, all of you out there who are either gluten intolerant or have a gluten allergy or you, someone you love does, because they can put additives in their whiskey, you do not know whether or not it's safe for people who have food allergies. And I do have a friend that used to drink tons of this stuff in college, told me that he can't drink whiskey because he has a gluten allergy and that every time he drinks whiskey, he has a gluten response. And I asked him what he was drinking. It turned out it was Crown Royal. I'm 99% sure that there is gluten in Crown Royal. I've been giving him bourbon after bourbon. He hasn't had a single problem. So if you're a Crown Royal drinker and you're wanting to expand your, you know, repertoire, if you will, um, then there's a few different directions that I might take you. So one, it's a blended whiskey. Um, you, you know, it doesn't have a huge flavor profile. It's sweeter, but it's also lower proof. So when I started thinking about things to recommend for you, the most obvious recommendation, and I happen to not have a bottle, and it's a little more expensive than I wanted to spend just to do this video, is uh, TX Blended Whiskey or TX Bourbon. My understanding is, is that whiskey was specifically designed for Crown Royal drinkers to be able to get an, a, not only just an American, but a Texas version of a blended whiskey that they can enjoy. Um, 
that whiskey has a very strong cereal flavor for me. And every time I drink it, the only thing I can think about tasting is Captain Crunch cereal. So I've had a few people laugh when I said that and then come back to me and go, you know, I thought about Captain Crunch when I tasted it. And sure enough, it tastes like Captain Crunch. Um, because it is a sweeter profile, one of the other whiskeys that I might recommend for you guys, if you wanted to try something else, would be this one right here. So this is a, a Texas whiskey. This is from Balcones Distillery in Waco, and this is called Rumble. Rumble is technically not a whiskey. It's just a spirit. It's made from wildflower honey, turbinado sugar, and uh, mission fig spirit. So it is um, not typically what we would drink, but really good spirit, um, approachable. It's sweeter. Now, what I will tell you is that Balcones is a non-chill filter product, which uh, means that they're probably bottling their product at a slightly higher proof. Um, the the uh, Crown's only 80 proof, so I think that the Rumble is always 100 proof plus. And that may, might make it offensive to somebody who's used to the lower proof of Crown. And so whatever I recommend to you, you're probably going to have to add a little bit of water to get that proof down so that the higher ethanol doesn't shock your palate. And I think over time, you'll learn to add less and less water and enjoy those complex flavors. But on this one, you can definitely taste the fig. Um, lots of cinnamon uh, coming through. And there's a chocolatey note on the finish that's real nice. So this with a little bit of water in it might be a good alternative. Um, another good alternative is any product from Four Roses. Um, so as I mentioned, Four Roses used to be um, a blending, or they made uh, whiskeys that were blended into Crown Royal products. Um, so there's definitely a familiarity there. But also Four Roses is known to have a little bit more of grain flavor in it than your typical Kentucky whiskey, which is why it's a little more floral. Um, it has a higher rye content than most other Kentucky whiskeys, which gives it a little bit more spice, you know, nutmeg, clove figs, things like that. And so this one, any uh, Four Roses product, the small batch um, is something I like. This is the small batch select, which uh, depending on what market you're in, this may or may not have been released yet. Another uh, direction that you might want to go would be this guy right here. Now, I will warn you that a cup, it, at least three of the whiskeys that I've recommended to you are whiskeys that are kind of poo-pooed in the whiskey nerd community, okay? So, you know, don't be surprised if you tell somebody that you love Willet in the whiskey community and they give you a hard time about it. But Willet is a product that comes in this beautiful bottle. Um, this bottle is the shape of the still that it's made in. It's significant because most whiskeys in Kentucky are made from a pot still or, or sorry, from a column still. And Willet's made from a pot still. Uh, there's a company, Kentucky Bourbon Distillers, KBD, and they make several products. And this is kind of their, you know, mass produced product. Now, the reason why I might recommend a um, pot still product for somebody who likes, um, who likes Crown Royal is because it is a little bit of a sweeter profile as well. Um, it has, it's, it, a lot of people in the industry believe that the pot still is going to reserve or preserve more of those fl more florally um, and dried fruit type components. Um, so this whiskey smells and tastes like perfume. Um, there's a little bit of a dill type component that comes through because to me this whiskey tastes uh, more like a rye than a bourbon. Um, and I actually proved that to myself at one point by giving away rye sample packs and including a Willet uh, pot still. What was interesting is almost everybody, I think there were five whiskeys in the pack, almost everybody rated the Willet in like the second or third or fourth position. It was always like right there in the middle. Um, but when people thought that they were drinking a rye, they weren't offended by its flavor profile. But if you compare this to a solid Kentucky bourbon, the profile is quite, quite different. Um, but for a crown drinker, I think that they may appreciate the sweeter, you know, flavors of this, but way, way, way more complex than a uh, crown royal. And KBD has some other products that you might be interested in. Uh, Noah's Mill is an excellent product. You can't always find it. 
Um, but lately I've been able to find it on the shelves and it is a beautiful, you know, expression of what a pot still can do if people are paying attention. Um, some of their older products pre 2016, you know, those are amazing. And if you can find one of those, you should. The newer ones lost a little bit of the complexity when they switched over to their own juice, uh, but still a solid pour. And I believe this bottle's around $55. Uh, but as I mentioned before, all of these products are probably going to need to be proofed down for somebody who's accustomed to drinking Crown Royal. Um, and over time, you may get used to it and be able to add less and less water. And then the next thing you know, you're a whiskey nerd like the rest of us. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any additional suggestions, feel free to throw them down in the comments. If you'd like to see me do a drink this, not that for your favorite pour, throw it in the comments. That's exactly what happened on this one. This is why I'm doing this recording. So I do listen to what you guys have to say. As always, I love you and talk to you soon.